Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a dark mode functionality to your Blogger website. So let's get started. This is the website that we're going to add the dark mode functionality to. And uh, this is how it looks right now. And uh, if I go to the Blogger dashboard, here we can see that this is the theme that I'm using called Contempo, which comes uh, by default with the Blogger platform. Now what we'll do over here is that in the body of our HTML, we will add a class and uh, we'll name it something like Dark Mode. And uh, whenever the class Dark Mode is added to the body, all the elements that we want to have the Dark Mode will change the color. And when the Dark Mode class is removed from the body, then all the elements will have the default color. We'll create a button somewhere over here where the user can click. And when the dark mode is activated, the website will have a completely dark theme. And uh, the user can click on the button once again, and it will be shifted to the light mode. And we'll also have some issue when we refresh the page or we go to the other page of our website, it will go back to the light mode. So for that, we'll also need to use the local storage of the browser. So first of all, let's change these colors and see which are the colors that suit the dark mode. We will add the JavaScript and the button later. But first of all, let's change the colors and see how it looks. So for that, we have to first of all manually add the dark mode class to the body of our website. So let's go to the theme and we'll click on this arrow right here and click on edit HTML. And we have to go to the start of the body tag. So Let's press Ctrl F and search for body. And uh, here we will add a class and uh, we'll call it dark mode. And whenever we have the dark mode class applied to the body, the website will have the dark theme. So let's save it. And uh, let's go to our website and refresh our page. And now let's right click over here and click on inspect and see whether we have the dark mode class in the body. And here we can see in body we have this class called dark mode. Alright, so let's go back to our theme and uh, we'll click on customize. And we'll go to advanced and uh, then click on the first drop down and click on add CSS. Alright, so the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll change the background of the body. So if you go to our website and right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, let's go to the body. And here we can see we have a background color of light gray. We need to change it to a dark gray. So let's go to the customizer and uh, here we will type body dot dark mode. And uh, we'll set the background color to dark gray. And uh, we can see that the color has changed. Now what we are doing over here is that we're just adding this CSS to the body whenever we have the dark mode class applied to the body. That's why we added body dot dark mode. Now if you remove the dark mode class from the body, this style will not be applied. Alright, so now let's see what else we need to style. So let's go back to our website and uh, let's right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, let's see which is the outer division. And uh, I think this one is the outer division. So let's select that. And uh, here we can see the selector. And we have a background color of white. So let's copy this selector from here. And we'll paste it in the customizer. But before that, we will add body dot dark mode. And then we'll paste the selector. And here we can see we have two selectors uh, separated with the comma. So we need to add body dot dark mode over here as well. All right now let's add the styles. For this, uh, we have a background of white. So let's set a background of uh, dark gray over here as well. So this is a slightly lighter color than the background. All right now let's select the title and uh, set the color to a light color. So let's go back to our website and we will right click over here and inspect and we'll select this anchor tag over here and we can see we have a color of 212121. So let's select the selector from here and we'll copy that and paste it over here. But before that we'll add body dot 
dark mode and we'll paste the selector over here and let's see whether we have multiple selectors so here we have post title and then we have a comma so after the comma we'll add body dot dark mode and then we have one more selector over here so we'll add body dot dark mode and then lastly we have one more over here All right now let's set the color of the text we'll set the color to light gray and the color has changed now let's set the color of this date and uh, let's copy this selector from here and I will do the same thing body dot dark mode and we'll just add it over here as well and uh, even over here we'll set the color to light gray and let's also set the color of this text so let's select this one right here and uh, we can see we have a color for the post body alright so let's select this selector from here and uh, here we'll type body dot dark mode and I will set the color to light gray you can even copy this selector and paste it over here by just adding a comma both these methods work now let me show you how to fix this uh, right here so let's go back to our website and uh, right click over here and inspect so here we can see we have a background color of linear gradient and it goes to left from pure white 0 to pure white 20 percent and then it turns to a transparent color so that's why we can see that this text is getting transparent from here because we have this element on that so now since we have this black background for our post we should have the black color over here and then as we go over here to the left we should make it transparent so let's copy first of all let's copy the selector from here and we'll paste it over here and we'll type body dark mode and let's copy this background as well Alright, so we will start with the color that we have at the background so if we scroll up we can see that we have set a color of 2 to 2 so let's add that over here instead of white and uh, even for this one we will add 2 to 2 and now we can see that everything is working perfectly fine and also don't forget to save your work often so I'll just save it right now alright now let's see what else we need to do we need to change the background color of the popular posts so let's go back to our website so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, here we have the popular post widget and we can change the background color of this selector right here so let's select that copy it and paste it in the customizer body dot dark mode and uh, we'll set the background color to black and we'll also change the color of uh, the heading and the text so let's select this right here and uh, we can change the color of the item content right, so let's copy this selector and uh, he will type body dark mode and set the color to light gray and we'll also change the linear gradient value of this right here just as we did with these posts so let's copy the selector all right so this is the element we'll just copy the selector from here and uh, let's go to the customizer body dot dark mode copy and paste and uh, we'll type background and I uh, will just copy this value 
and uh, paste it over here and since we have given a background color of black to this popular posts let's change this value to black and uh, this to black as well all right that looks fine all right so let's save this and uh, see how it looks on our website so everything seems to look fine now let's go into a post and see whether we have any issues so we have some issues with the paragraph over here so let's right click over here and click on inspect so here we have the background color of white for the span so let's target that it is inside post body so let's go back to customizer and uh, here we'll type body dot dark mode post body paragraph and uh, inside that we have the span so we'll change the background to transparent so let's save it and see whether it works and it is still not working the reason for that is that we have the style applied over here inside this element itself so to override that we need to use a keyword called important in CSS so let's go back to customizer and uh, here we will type exclamation important and uh, let's save and see whether it works and we can see that it works all right and uh, we also have this issue over here so let's right click and uh, this is for the paragraph so let's copy this till the p tag and we will add a comma and uh, add this selector over here as well save it and now everything should be all right so now we can see everything is working all right now there are a lot of other things you can do you can change the background color of this comment box and a lot of things so it's up to you what you want to change and what you don't want to change so i think we'll wrap it up for this video in the next video i'll show you how to add the dark mode button over here on your website and whenever you click on that the website will change into a dark mode or the light mode and we'll also be using local storage or the browser to remember whether the website is in the dark mode or in the light mode and we'll be doing all that using javascript so if you have any doubts in this video you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day